Hello, my name's Tim, the Woodworking Maniac, and welcome back to my shop. It's a little bit different view from what you guys usually have. And the reason for that is, in my last video, uh, it was a shop update that I had, I said that I was going to do a shop tour in a few months, once I got everything in place to where I wanted it. Because right now, my shop is in kind of a big transition period. Um, I have bought a couple new tools, uh, new to me anyway, off, off of Craigslist, and I've sold some of my older tools, and I'm, I'm moving things around and getting my shop kind of laid out in a different different way. And uh, I, I was going to do a shop tour once I got it all straightened out, and I still will. But I had in the comments a couple people saying that I should do kind of a before and after. And I think that's a pretty good idea. So the before has actually kind of started. Uh, it actually started, I guess, a few weeks ago. And a few weeks ago, I actually cleared off uh, the backside over here. Uh, it's a two-car garage. Uh, one half of this was pretty much all storage. And uh, it was packed all the way to the ceiling, pretty much unusable as a shop. It was just all storage for my home. And uh, I cleared that all out and moved that all to a storage unit. So that whole space has been opened up for me to use for my shop. And that happened a few weeks ago, so that is all cleared out. And also I've done a whole bunch of cleanup in, in uh, more areas of the shop. So what you're going to see today has already been a big change uh, from a few weeks ago. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a little bit of a shop tour just so you can get an idea of what I'm starting with right now. And then when you see the actual shop tour in, a, in probably a few months, uh, you can kind of see kind of the dramatic change that's gonna happen uh, in, in my shop and kind of the evolution of my shop over the next few months. So uh, without further ado, we'll get started right here kind of at the heart of my shop. Uh, we've got the table saw. This is a jet cabinet saw. And I've upgraded the fence system with the Incra fence system. It did have the Beesmeyer set up uh, originally. And I've got a uh, um, router leaf on the end here. So my router table is basically a leaf on the fence or on, on my uh, table saw. Um, I do want to build a cabinet underneath of that at some point to do some sort of dust collection and stuff for my router. Once again, more to add to uh, my work. And uh, I did build this kind of uh, storage area, not necessarily storage, but kind of tool access for stuff that I, I work with while I'm at the table saw. You know, different push sticks and a brush and different things that I would access while I'm at the table saw uh, to have on hand. And I'm not a big fan of having the pegboard. It, I thought it would be a great idea, but the pegboard, I'm just not a big fan of pegboard, I guess. Uh, it just it's not as adaptable as I envisioned when I first put it up there. So I'm probably going to change this out in some way sometime in the future. But for now, it's serving a purpose and it's there. So that's what I've got going on there. And I'm going to start working my way around the shop. So keep on following along. You've definitely seen the clamp rack uh, probably on many, many occasions. So uh, this is the, uh, the clamp rack that I've got going. And over here you can see that I've got a Harbor Freight dust collector <clears throat> with, uh, you probably can't quite see over here in the corner, but I have a trash can separator with a, uh, a wood stock um, topper that I got from Grizzly uh, quite some time back. So I've turned a Harbor Freight uh, dust collector into a two-stage machine with a uh, canister filter from uh, Win filters. I bought that uh, quite some time ago as well. So took a Harbor Freight machine, bought a wind filter to make it a little bit better, and also got the trash can with the uh, separator. So I took a few steps to make that dust collector a little bit better, and it's still not up to par to what I'm needing. So the biggest reason why this transition is happening is next week I have a new dust collector coming. Uh, so that's the reason I'm doing this complete shop reorganization is because I'm going to have to redo all my duct work and everything for my new, new dust collector. So I'm wanting to make everything a little bit more efficient for my new duct work that I'm going to be doing. 
so when I get the new dust collector, uh, it's going to be in a different position and I'm going to do the duct work in a different way. So I'm wanting to get all the machines in a different position to where the duct work is a little bit more efficient for dust collection. So that's going to be one of the big changes that's going to happen. So the Harbor Freight dust collector is going to be going away sometime in the near future. So that's over there. And then we've got the clamp rack and I've just got some storage over here. And as you can see right there, also in my uh, cabinetry here, I've got my uh, Jet 1014 mini lathe. And I've got a light above there uh, with a piece of tape kind of in the, uh, the light itself so the light is not glaring in my face. So Jet mini lathe, and, that, and you've seen that in my uh, a couple of my videos that I've actually used that. Uh, I did a deer antler pin and also a small vase. So a couple turnings that I've done. Okay, and as you can see over here in the corner, we've got the Harbor Freight dust collector and that trash can separator I was speaking about a moment ago. I've got a shop vac with a dust right separator from um, Rockler, and that basically follows the shop vac around. I use that all over the shop uh, for just about everything, so that does all my cleanup. Uh, this is my 20 inch planer that you saw on my last video that I just recently acquired. So this beast, I have no idea where I'm going to end up putting it, but uh, that's going to be getting a lot of use. And hiding around the corner here is my 6 inch uh, delta joiner. And uh, this one I actually just sold and the person is supposed to be picking it up tomorrow. So. I have another joiner that is actually replacing this one for the time being, but I am trying to save up for a larger joiner. So hopefully that's going to be a change that's going to happen sometime in the near future as well. So we'll continue. Working our way back here, it's very dark in this, this portion of the shop because I do not have any lighting uh, back here, mainly because uh, as of a few weeks ago, my shop stopped right about here. Um, my drill press was where I'm standing right now, and now it's around the corner here, but uh, I had a bunch of storage behind there. It was just other items that I recently uh, moved away to a, to a storage unit. So I've cleared off more space back here, and uh, uh, that's so I can actually start moving some stuff around. And the new dust collector that I've got coming, I have planned to go into the corner over here by the garage door. So the dust collection will be starting in that corner. And I have a 2244 Performax drum sander here that I'm probably going to be selling sometime soon because I have another drum sander and I just don't have the space for two of them. Um, this one, I'm, I'm very happy with the machine, but it takes up a lot of space and having two of them is definitely a luxury, but I just don't have the space for it. Uh, the drill press that I have, I have it on a cart that I built. Uh, it is a benchtop model. It serves its purpose. I would like to have a larger drill press, but that's something I'll have to get sometime down the road. Got an RBI Hawk 26 inch throat uh, scroll saw. It does very well. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's an older machine. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that it requires uh, these uh, T-handle hex screws to uh, loosen the uh, the blade. I wish it did have the uh, little butterfly finger thing so at some point I'll probably end up ordering those replacements. I do have a DeWalt sliding compound miter saw. It is one of the smaller models. It's, it takes the seven and a quarter inch blades instead of a 10 inch or 12 inch compound miter saw. Um, that's probably partially why I don't use it very often uh, because it's a smaller model but also I don't have anywhere to set up a miter station as of yet. Uh, once I get everything sorted out, I might actually set up a miter station and put that thing to use a little bit more often. But as of right now, it's used for more outdoor projects because I can grab it, pick it up, take it outside, and that's when I use it. I have a 14 inch jet bandsaw with the riser block, and that allows me to have up to 12 inch resaw capacity. 
I do have the Craig fence system on there and I've been pretty happy with that. You can see below me and beside me, uh, really on both sides, I have lumber kind of all over the place. Uh, you'll see it in probably every shot that uh, I have. I have lumber stacked kind of everywhere. Uh, so that's another issue that I have to take care of. I need to build some lumber racks to have a little bit more dedicated space just for lumber and then also some for cutoffs and scraps and, and things like that. Right now, I have two shel uh, some shelving units kind of separating the two halves of my garage because like I said earlier, that other side was just storage and I was just using this half of the garage for my shop. Now I'm going to be using the entire garage for a shop so I'm going to take these shelves out and open it up because I want to be able to walk throughout and I'm probably going to be end up putting some machinery here in the middle so I want to open it up. I'm going to end up taking these shelving units out and moving things around. But for now, let's go ahead and go to the other side of these shelving units and show you what we got going on over there. This is actually the other six inch joiner that I have that is going to be replacing my uh, Delta joiner. Uh, it had torn up knives in it and I actually just put brand new knives in it today. So uh, it's ready to be used again. So this one will actually be going in, in place of that one for the time being. Uh, I do have this one posted on uh, on Craigslist with the hopes to sell it to uh, to try to buy a larger one because this is also a six inch uh, so I'm not really upgrading in any way I'm just uh, selling that one and using this one uh, this is the drum sander that I have that will be replacing the 2244 Performax that I've got this is a Grizzly 24 inch double drum sander. Uh, I haven't used it yet. Uh, I got it off Craigslist just recently and I haven't even set it up. Uh, matter of fact, I haven't even run a 220 line uh, to to run it off of yet because I don't know exactly where I'm wanting to place it. So I haven't run my 220 outlet for it yet. So this is the new uh, double drum sander that I'll be using and I think I'm probably gonna end up selling the Performax mainly because I don't want to use space for two drum sanders. And uh, working my way around here, I do have a couple uh, toolboxes of mostly mechanics tools. Uh, and <laughs> my phone's dying now. Uh, on around the shop here, got a little bit of TV entertainment and some more stuff. Got some finishing supplies over there. And below that, I've got uh, just boxes and boxes of screws and hinges and tons of different things over there. Uh, I do have a benchtop mortiser right here that uh, I don't have a place for yet as well. Uh, I've got some more tools in these toolboxes here. This is actually a bench that I bought from Harbor Freight just to basically have a flat surface to do some work on and put together real quick and it wobbles like crazy. I'm not very happy with it, but it'll be a good place to put up against the wall and have some bench top tools on, maybe a couple sanders or something like that. So that was the intent of buying it. And for that reason, it will come in handy somewhere. Not really sure yet. Um, then working on around, I do have some more cabinetry on down, down the wall here. And as you can see, it's just a mess. I, I can't even walk around this bench or anything like that because I just have stuff stacked all around here. So, like I said a few weeks ago, it was even more of a disaster than it is now. Uh, I mean, exponentially more. So, I've got a long way to go to get everything in order. I've got a lot of things to move around, a lot of things to figure out where I want to place them, and uh, uh, still have duct work to order and figure out what all pieces I need to, to get for that. So I've got a lot to, to s figure out and situate. Uh, with only getting a couple days a week in the shop right now, it's going to be a while before I have everything in order. So that's the reason I say it's going to be a few months before I actually have a proper shop tour for you guys. And for that I apologize, but 
it will come. <laughs> I just, uh, it's going to be a little while before I actually have everything ready for you guys. So I appreciate you following along with what I've got going on, and I hope you all have a great day, and God bless.